Hey, hi there. I thought I'd talk to you about leadership on communications decisions today. I think communication strategy is a big word that makes people shrug their shoulders in development cooperation quite often. But actually what it boils down to is making bold decision on communications related matters, I guess. Decisions that are a bit more visionary. Now, let me unfold my point here, which is related to how managing decisions is done in development cooperation quite often and what impact it has on the communications related matters. I believe that I can see that there is a strong, totally agreeable um, vision in development cooperation to move and decide things in teams. And this is totally agreeable and everybody has to appreciate this because it builds a whole lot of rapport. So before I move on with my thinking on this, let me make a, an analogy to the movies. Think of your typical um, hero's journey kind of movie. The hero is portrayed as a character that is trying to find his footing. Usually it's a it's a man, obviously, in, in the traditional sense, but it obviously could also be a heroine. But what matters now is the analogy. So the hero assembles around him quite a motley crew of different characters that are assembled around a cause, a very good cause, something that they all should agree on, but they have conflicting interests their family at home and and all these different things so they are footed in the real world they don't they're not easily gathered around that visionary cause that might be totally agreeable but that is difficult to achieve so what he does now so during the course of the first part of the movie or whatever it is the book he builds rapport by letting these people co-decide on things. They, they, He gives in into certain things, letting go of certain aspects. So in terms of Motley crew and um, in our management team, this would mean you have the M&E advisor, the advisor on something technical, A, B, C, D, the finance person, the operations person, and obviously also the communications person. They all have very different interests, but they are brought in to decide on certain things in the management team. And this builds rapport for the leader of that team. Now, what happens? Why is this important? It means when there is a very critical decision to be made, something that is a bit of a visionary act, the leader can then rely on the rapport he or she has built before. So when it comes to in the movie to that decisive battle that needs to be had to actually move on with the cause and and and, and win or whatever the the uh, the case is then he or she needs to pull the card and say i need you for this i need your rapport now trust me on this and that is usually quite a number of scenes in movies before that actually happens. It takes quite a lot more than just talking. But then in the end, people will move. And to the final battle, usually somebody rides around coming from the flank in the final scene, uh, joining the battle on horse and so forth. So the leader in our team building needs that rapport in the critical time. And why I'm saying that is because I do believe that you need to have the idea that certain decisions are not to be made in a democratic way with a team because people are footed in reality. They don't like visions. So statistically, if you put a visionary decision that you think is is to be made, if you if you put that into the hands of a lot of people, you are preempting 
precluding your decision on that because the likelihood that they will decide on the realistic end and not on the visionary decision and the visionary direction is very high. So actually, if you really think about that, you're not really making a open decision on this because it's, it's precluded. And why am I saying this as a communications person? Because I think if you take decisions in the communications area and put them to the management team, because for some reason um, you think they are not really that important and you, you're still building your rapport, then you will never ever get a decision in the communications area that is visionary. And I think this totally explains why we have a lack of visionary action in communications terms and development cooperation, because the leaders are not doing their job as leaders in the, in the sense of realizing that this is a visionary decision. You need to now pull the card on the rapport built before and say, hey, you need to trust me on this. We need to go this way. And then addressing each one separately and saying, yeah, no, are you with me on this? No, you think this is another um, case to leaving it up to the team to decide on what's to, uh, to be made. And it's one of your rapport building exercises where you should have actually realized that this is now sort of the end of a tournament and you need to pull the rapport card and say, trust me on this. We're going to have a, a visionary measure here we need to do this and that we need to install this new system and so forth i hope i made my point clear